Good morning. I don't know why, but my throat is a little sore today. <laughs> today. But I think it's because last night it was like literally warm and really cool. Um, but yeah, anywho, my gosh, I, these past two nights staying up at midnight, well, till midnight trying to upload a video, you know, is a little uh, getting to me. So I'm hoping to finish this a little earlier so I can get some good rest in. Um, but yeah. So, anywho, we were supposed to go get breakfast with my sister, but I'm sure she's still snoozing. It's 9 o'clock, and I'm sure they probably stayed up really freaking late, because I've seen their snaps, and they were pretty late. Um, but, anywho, I'm just going to have some oatmeal in the meantime. This still bomb. I buy this in bulk. I think I actually have it to be shipped to me, like, automatically off of Amazon. It's literally so good. You can never go wrong with oatmeal. But I feel like my milk supply is finally coming back. Oh my gosh, that scared me. Last night I asked my cousin, she uses the Kingdom Milk formula. And she says it's really good, which I do actually trust her because I feel like she does actually like try to get the best stuff. So, um, I was like, do you have a little bit? But her daughter is now like a year, and, uh, what is it, two months? <gasps> Oh my gosh, she's going to be a year and two months. And she's on whole milk now. So she's like, no, I don't have any. I was like, oh my gosh. And I was like literally trying to pump. But I don't know. I didn't know like when you get sick that you're basically milk pumps like no stinking of it. So anywho, it's finally coming back because this morning I was literally engorged. And I'm like, okay, this is like the best feeling ever. Because I think it's more stressful not being able to produce enough than overproducing. And that's where I always was. It was in like the overproduction side. But anywho, I'm glad it's coming back. My stress levels have left, definitely gone down a bit, but I'm gonna go keep this up. We don't, we, I literally, like, need to probably bring the microwave. No, I don't, no. Because we rarely use the microwave. Um, so I have it downstairs. But now that I eat, like, literally one of these every single morning when I wake up, it's like, literally, my morning routine. If you guys haven't seen it, it's like a 4.30 morning routine. I'll, like, link it up in the cards over here. And that's just kind of how I start. I do this. Um, two pieces of Ezekiel bread and some coffee. Which I'm not going to have coffee right now because that also, like, I think hinders the milk supply because you get dehydrated. But whatever. This is literally 2 minutes and 35 seconds on breast milk. Oh my gosh. I need a life. I'll be back. Okay, we're just going to put some laundry away because we still have a big old pile left to do. <sighs> And well, I thought my sister was going to stay with me, so I washed all of the covers, but she didn't. What a lame -o, huh? Lame. Oh, this is nice and soft now, Ken. Ugh. You see that? She's literally... <laughs> Hold on, let me show you guys. Wow, that's folded hideous, but look at that. Hey, girlfriend. What are you doing up there? I mean, down there. Wait on a horsey. I had to tie this belt thing on there. So then I can just pull her. Yeah. But I have to be very careful because she leans forward. So that horsey's kind of like this. And I'm afraid like if I go a little fast or pull way too hard, that it's just gonna, you know, flip over. <laughs> that would be not good. Ugh. Okay. <gasps> oh. I would drop all the baking soda over here. Okay, ever since discovering how to fold, or how to, yeah, basically fold fitted sheets, it has become like my favorite thing to do. Index fingers, the very end, then get the other corner, get your index fingers in there. You know, I just found this out probably like a few years ago now, but I felt like I was the only one who didn't know because I guess it seems like everybody else knew. Okay, so then you kind of just bring this two sides together. Obviously it's not gonna look perfect because I'm doing this standing. Usually kind of need to be sitting, but I kind of just match it up and then match this end up. Kind of looks like a skirt. All right, it's not perfect, but basically a lot better than what I usually used to do, which was perfect. Okay, let's put this to dry. Let's go bring Buffy's pants. You ready? I don't think you really chew on that, girl. That's called a seatbelt. Yeah, yeah. 
Let's go back here. Okay. Whew. All right, I actually need to get ready because we're actually going to go to breakfast with my dad. Okay. Good. Good. We are going to clean this room. Well, not clean. We're just going to make the bed. Like, the bed is something that I ever rarely, well, make. I don't know. It just, like, never bothers me if it's, like, not made or anything. Like, I know a lot of people are like, oh, make your bed when you wake up. But for me, I'm like, you know, there's a lot of other things I can be doing besides making my bed. That stress me out way more than <clears throat> a dirty bed. Or a messy bed. Because it's not dirty. Because I wash the sheets. Once a week, because, I don't know, that just kind of gives me the grossies if you don't. But to make the bed, you know, not so much. So, oh, well, would you look at this, all the change there. Put it in your piggy bank, girlfriend. Fuck. Finders keepers. Ugh. I'm actually looking to find another comforter. Um, because this one I bought at Target, but it's already like coming up. <laughs> that almost fell on you. Coming apart. She's literally laying on the floor. Oh. <gasps> what are you doing down there? Uh, so if you guys have any recommendations for good comforters, I was thinking of like a duvet, because I've heard like those are way easy to like make the bed or anything for like us lazy folks like me you know <clears throat> but like it gets overwhelming because like I'll go on Google start searching for duvets and there's like 70 million of them I'm like so which one's the best one you know and I feel like a lot of like the websites that like I'll click into it seems like it's more sponsored content than the actual legit oh yeah like I love these you know what I'm saying so, if you guys have any recommendations, please let me know. Let a sister know, huh, girlfriend, over here? Okay, let me put my sweat on. Oh, dad's calling. Probably dinner, breakfast time. Okay, so we're back home. Breakfast was great. And my sister actually finally answered her dang phone and ended up showing up. And this is what we wore. Basically, it's just, you know, a little subtle, whatever. Just got my Anna Luisa rings. The necklace that I literally have been raving about. Sorry, that's my little girl in the background jumping. Um, and then the Anna Luisa earrings, a little car car jacket. Kennedy went down for her nap. And I actually was like thinking, I'm like, you know what? I don't have a vision board going on yet. I mean, I know it's like December 3rd, but before I know it, it's going to be like freaking January 31st. And I'm still not going to have a vision board. So we're going to um, work on it right now. Usually I like to get all my inspiration from Pinterest because I feel like that has like the most aesthetically pleasing pictures. So we're just going to download to the computer. And then my dad gave me his printer. So um, we're going to print the images as soon as we can. I'm also watching the Titanic if you can hear it in the background. Does anybody else have like seven Pinterest accounts for no odd reason? Like that's literally me. I don't know. Chocolate craving cake. Wow. Mm, that sounds the bomb. Okay, we're gonna call this a prayer slash vision board because I know like a lot of people who do vision boards are kind of more like on the, okay, I'm not categorizing everybody, but in general are like more like the voodoo type of manifestation people. And I don't believe in manifestation at all i feel like a lot of the stuff is literally just like satan kind of re rewriting it in to exclude god because they're like put it out to the universe 
And instead of like saying, put it all like in God's hand, put it out to the universe. Well, who has the universe? Who created the universe? Who makes everything possible? God. I just wanna really have a beautiful garden this year. Do I wanna get pregnant? I don't know if I'm ready for another baby yet. Maybe I'll put a question mark. Like I'm just really, really enjoying life with Kennedy right now that sometimes I could think about it like, yeah, it would be fun, you know? So she can have like a little brother or sister growing up like right next to her. But then again, I'm like, hmm, if I were to get pregnant in like February, then they would be like 16, 17 months apart, which I don't know, is that a good timeline? Like, I don't really know what a good timeline is because I hear like from both sides, a lot of people are like, oh, if you have them close together, like it's really, really nice because kind of you're in the trenches, kind of used to like the, the late waking up late or everything, you know, whatever. Um, but then like when you have them spaced out, you're like restarting again and that's always hard. So I don't really know, but I mean, I feel like whatever timeline, Whenever God gives me a baby, I guess it is what it is, but I feel like I wanna enjoy a full year with Kennedy from like Janu January, <laughs> January to December, and then maybe 2025, you know, get pregnant, but who knows. Drink more water. I literally type <laughs> vision board pictures and it says drink more water, literally. We have our body armor and then I just filled my whole prego jar marinara jar full of water too because we do need to be drinking more water discipline is consistency literally for real no procrastination i'm not even gonna save that because we already know okay one thing i really would like to do is being more consistent in attending church i feel like kind of fell off the wagon there because i just don't know what to do because kennedy's nap like literally always falls at 10 o'clock which is when church starts but then again, it's like, I feel like if we kind of skip it or push it, she's going to be crazy. Like last time we went, like, I think we were there for 30 minutes and she just started crying. And I'm like, <laughs> sorry, I gotta go. Uh, so yeah, I have no idea what to do. What do you, what do you guys do? Like, what do you, how do you entertain your baby there? I didn't save all of them just yet or everything, but I'm gonna try the printer out. Kennedy actually woke up, we fed her. She's jumping on her little jumper over there. You can probably hear it, but I'm sure I have to do this. Hold on, a document and then download it and then, cause it says I'm running low on ink already. And we'll probably go over it tomorrow because the day's almost over already. Uh, hold on. No, that's not it. <gasps> what baby girl? <gasps> really? That's what's going on over there? Wait, no. Huh. Okay, well, I think we're gonna need some color printer. Yeah, well, I guess we're gonna have to wait. You can literally tell how cheap these papers are. It's like wrapping paper, basically. Um, but anyway, we're gonna need to order some color for the printer because there's none. So that's okay. This vision board doesn't need to be done today. This is why I'm telling you that I need to start early or else I'm not gonna finish it until like January 31st or maybe even March. So now we're gonna go get a hamburger because I am starving. And on Sundays, I generally don't cook. So happy Sunday. Okay, I just ended up getting this hamburger that has onion rings, bacon, and two patties. I will eat this. <laughs> but I'm trying to give Kennedy some food. Man, I don't know if she's... I think she's ready for way more solids than I think she is. Because she's like chowing down. And it's just this whole wheat like rice cereal that I'm giving her right now. <gasps> mm -hmm. I think you can probably hear her in the background. <laughs> Hmm. Mm, 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 mm. Ready right here. Directly. Okay, I'm gonna have to boil some sweet potatoes for her because she is starving. Starving Marvin, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
what's up. Oh, you see the sweet potato? Do you see the sweet potato? <gasps> yeah, you do. Let's go, Mama. Sorry. Ken is down for the night and it is 7.04. So I laid her down at seven and she's completely out. I just checked the nanny. Um, so sleep habits since the beginning have been just literally uh, such, such a blessing. Now, um, it took a long time to get them established, probably like a good old month, but now I'm like kind of reaping the benefits of it. So it's really, really nice that I can just lay her down and she just kicks around. Sometimes she literally just goes and done. And that's exactly tonight. That's what she did. But I'm glad she didn't want any sweet potatoes because um, I think these are more, more like charred potatoes. I forgot I left them on the stove. And when I went to come get her bottle, I like smelled burnt. And I was like, oh my gosh. I forgot her sweet potatoes. So, anywho, we we're just gonna pick up the kitchen and put everything to wash. And I think we're calling it a night. So, anywho, thank you so much for watching. Vlogmas day three. I hope you are enjoying so far. If it's annoying, turn off your notifications. That's okay, it does not hurt my feelings. Um, but yeah, I'll catch you guys on the next one.